Kwadi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah led Pakistan's freedom from British controlled India and was its leading governor general and president of its principal assembly. Muhammad Ali Jinnah was born on the 25th of December 1876 in Wazir Mansion, Karachi, Sindh. He was born Muhammad Ali Jinnah Bai. Ali was a barrister, politician and the founder of Pakistan. He served as the leader of the All India Muslim League. This was from 1913 until the inception of Pakistan on the 14th of August 1947. He was the first Governor General of Pakistan. He is established as the great leader and father of the nation in Pakistan. Jinnah's birthday is observed as a national holiday in Pakistan. Following are the some facts which many people don't know about Qaidi Azam. Number one. In 1896, Qadi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah was the youngest Indian to pass out the examination of law in Britain. He was also the only Muslim barrister in Bombay, whilst he was only 20 years old. Number 2. Another reality of Quaid's life is that soon after his first marriage with his cousin Enbai, Jinnah went for England to complete his studies. Though Enbai passed away only a few weeks soon after and consequently, the marriage did not last for too long. Number 3. In Ankara, it is a fact that there is a road named after Qaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. It is called Sinna Kadesi. Sinna is the Turkish manner of denoting Jinnah. Number four, Na was an elegant gentleman, and he never wore the same tie twice. Even on his deathbed, it is a proven fact that he vowed to be properly dressed, stating, I will not travel in my nightclothes. Number five, Jinnah was one of the most costly and most sought-after lawyers of his time, earning about rupees 1,500 case. The most fascinating reality about his life is that Governor General of Pakistan, on the other hand, fixed his salary at the second time of S1 per month as the Governor General of Pakistan. The justification being, he didn't want to indebt the emerging state with financial liability. Number 6. In the 1930s, he suffered from tuberculosis. However, only his sister and a few others close to him knew about his condition. However, he died at his home in Karachi on the 11th of September 1948 at the age of 71. Well, that's it for today. See you all in next episode.